סלי אנד פרידלנד, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. סלי, we are your guests tonight yes. for a new work by סלי אנד פרידלנד. Who have been spoiling us for years with yes. wonderful works. So what are we about to see, to see tonight? It's called uh, Human Nitrate. Interesting. Human Nitrate is ap- apropos something explosive. Oh my God. <laughs> nitrate is a, is a chemical. Like nitrate glycerin. Yes. Oh my God. So uh, Human Nitrate. And uh, for me, uh, although it's not explosive like boom, 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 bang, It's, uh, it's an explosion for me because it's a, a new beginning. And okay. I think that beginnings begin with explosions. So Mazal Tov is in order. Yes, thank you. Hey. Selian, um, you are probably the best person, or one of the best persons, to ask this question. Yes. When you look at Israeli dance, yes. you've been following it for quite a while, you have been contributing to it. Yes. How would you describe it? Oh. Um, I think uh, there's a huge amount of expression of uh, the situation of what goes on in Israel through the medium of dance. And it's, uh, the, the Israeli power that Israelis have, all Israelis have, is uh, apparent in Israeli dance, which makes it uh, so vibrant and important and is a wonderful outlet for expression, especially for dancers who are, and choreographers, who use movement to express and write their movement. And I think this is what impresses the world. And uh, people see Israel from a completely different point of view. Um, and see Israel without words. They see Israel in movement. Which makes... Uh, and uh, I think uh, there's... A very uh, they say and it's true actually that uh, uh, Israelis Israeli dance carries a degel shalano a blue and white flag around the world I was about to say in a beautiful way I was about to say we, we are ambassadors of you culture. are our ambassadors yes uh, some of the best we have yes and I think this is the best way to be an ambassador of your country if you can be an ambassador of uh, culture and We are not uh, maybe the greatest sportsmen around. Not yet. We are working we, on we are, it. We are working on it and we will get there. But um, Optimistic. actually in dance, uh, <laughs> we, we are the forerunners of dance in the world today. Which is quite amazing. It's quite amazing for this small country. It's a small country. Yes. yes. And we have to thank yes. some German influences. Well, yeah, I don't know whether mine is German. I'm Prussian, actually. I have a I grandmother was, that I was came close. from Prussia, from Augustburg, from the days of Prussia. Oh. And I have a grandfather that came from, uh, from Lithuania. Royalty? Yes, and, uh, well, you know, from the, the royalty of um, the Yeshivot. Ah. And um, that's where I come from. And you are a native of South Africa? I'm a native of South Africa, and also on my mother's side, they come from Ireland. Oh. So I have a huge wow. uh, mixed, mixed blood. Talk about a bank of genes, yes, good ones. Yes, yes, well, Jewish ones that uh, travel the world, you know, <laughs> we, the Jews of the diaspora. So, it is one thing for you to have your work performed here in Israel mm-hmm. and, and enjoy or learn the reaction by the audience yes. and to see it, the same reaction to the same work abroad. So the reaction, because it's modern work now, the work that I'm doing now is a completely different genre from what I used to do. And uh, the reactions are very varied, you know. It depends on how people see things and how they feel them, because what I'm dealing with now are not dreams and uh, the future. I'm dealing with the reality of life today. And because I've, I have come to a certain age in my life, as I think most artists do when they create, They go through certain phases and the, fo- the, gone, the yeah, 40s it's yes, well known you, you go past the 40s and you go even further than that and um, you begin to see things in different colors in different shapes uh, uh, the dynamic and of life and, and and the meaning of certain things and emotions may sh- mainly are what actually guide me today and um, that's where I, I'm working so when people react it's very much when you have a reaction from people and you tell them something whether they're going to understand what you're saying or Or not or they're going to reject you or they're going to love you 
or, or, or that kind of thing that happens in art today, it happens in dance as well? It's an unfair question to ask, but I will ask it anyways, in your permission. Yes. Where do you feel more appreciated? When your work is being performed here in Israel or abroad? Abroad. Abroad, interesting. Mm. What could be the reason? I don't know what the reason is. Um, there's a certain feeling that we, need, we as Israelis go out of uh, Israel, the small little land, and we go into the big world, you know, sort of big world. Um, the appreciation and the understanding of people is different. You know, it's a very fast, tough life in Israel, you know, maybe because of, maybe not only because of the heat, but it's a... It's, the neighborhood it's a, a, a contributes, neighborhood, contributes. The neighborhood, and uh, the cake is very, very small as far as um, budget and money and recognition. There are lots and lots of people here, and there's a lot of um, competition, and uh, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of feeling that, you know, when you become an older, more mature artist, that you are redundant and not important anymore, because there are younger people coming up. You know, and you don't really uh, belong. And uh, I feel that in Europe and abroad, where I've traveled, I find a huge amount of appreciation. Interesting. When I teach, uh, like a master teacher or okay. a master choreographer, and they're only too pleased to, to, to have me as an Israeli, you know. Could it be that the Israeli public became spoiled and critical when it comes to this bounty of modern, innovative, Israeli dance. Yes, possibly, but you, you know, you've got to understand in Israel the percentage of the population that actually come to real dance is minute. There's a huge po population that goes to uh, Bidu, um, which is entertainment, uh, entertainment. popular entertainment, pop popular, popular entertainment and like good music and, and uh, dancing and colorful and enjoy that kind of theater and that. And then there's a different level yeah. that goes higher than that, that people are actually searching for meaning, a sort of philosophy of dance, a philosophy of thought, uh, going to great depth. And as, as you climb the ladder of culture, so the audience gets smaller. It's the same in modern art as well, you know, there's not a huge everybody in right. modern art. It right. took a long time for people to understand the Impressionists or, you know, Van Gogh or True. people that had cut off the ears and God knows what because they didn't do things. Uh, right. And world. yet it's very difficult to get a ticket to the best works on stage when it comes to modern dance. In well, Israel. You know, when, when, when stuff comes from abroad to Israel, people are prepared to pay hundreds and hundreds of shekels to, to see something just in case they don't miss it and they would go, they wouldn't even know what it's really about mm -hmm. or just read the promo material. Yeah. And, um, but whereas to come here to Suzanne de Lyle and to spend 55 shekel or 65 shekel on a ticket, you know, it's like uh, drawing water from a stone. And uh, people don't understand how we much need we Moses. Need we need yeah, Moses. We need Moses, and we, how much we need the money to support dance because it's, dance is about dance and the dollar. It's about you cannot do professional dance and have it in a professional mode unless you have money behind you. Mm -hmm. Just forget about it. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the people that can dance outside and on the cobbles of the street, you know, that's okay. But the moment, you know, it's like an artist, you need your gallery, you need uh, right. to hang your picture in the right place. Sounds like a fantastic uh, invitation to both governmental and private sector to start supporting dance I wish, more generously. I wish, I wish all the private sector of all the high tech and all the cell phones and all the dairies that make all this wonderful yogurt and cottage cheese <laughs> will hear my plea and give money to you know open your doors even one percent of the money you make a year Mm -hmm. which would go to dance in Israel and people who are choreographers and dancers would be able to turn to these people and get this money and we would have a, a wonderful, wonderful dance scene in Israel. Sally Ann, uh, one correction, our plea. Our? Because I join you uh, yes. with this plea. Yes. Uh, last question? Yes, sure. Because uh, time is running out. Yes, yes. Uh, what can we wish, Sally Ann Friedland? Ah, oh, what could I wish? The well, most important thing for me about people and uh, the communication of dance. I do this because uh, of the need to, to say something and the need to give something. And um, as a choreographer, you don't see me. You see my dancers on stage and you see the work that we work on on stage, which is done by incredible 
are, are dancers who are all creative and uh, their names actually have names. One is called Robin Kane, the other one is called Ome Astrakhan and another girl, woman is called uh, Mo Nad, um, Bayoha, uh, Bar Zakai. An international dance company? It's not an international. Because no, the first one Robin, had... Robin is born in England. Okay. But brought up in Israel. I and see. Ome Astrakhan is Russian. And Mo is born and bred Israeli, Moroccan. S Semi-international. Yes, so um, it's, it's very, very important to, to, to give them, to acknowledge them for the work that they've done. And uh, my greatest wish is for our message to come across and for the audience and people to, to support us and to come and see us and uh, to give us their feedback and to give us their presence. Sally and Friedland, we wish you all that and more. Thank you. Toda Good luck and Shalom. Shalom.